Okay. Our last speaker for our lightning rounds, Mr. Kevin De La Roca. Here you go, Kevin. Hello, everyone. My name is Kevin De La Roca. I'm a co-founder for Acre World. So I'm here to tell you guys about um, real-world asset back to NFTs. And so kind of the evolution that we've kind of like seen so far is that, you know, uh, humans needed to find a way to be able to exchange goods and services. So we created like this concept of money. Uh, the next evolution of that is uh, being able to kind of have it like globally, uh, not necessarily be bound by, by, ha by uh, you know, governments and like banks and such. So we have Bitcoin. And uh, Bitcoin is kind of this kind of started, opened this Pandora's box for different applications um, for blockchain technologies, uh, which came like Ethereum. And uh, with that, an application for kind of uh, creating like NFTs uh, came, uh, uh, came, came after that, um, where there is actually, where uh, now we can have like digital goods. Um, and the next evolution that we have is uh, we're, we're offering, which is uh, asset-backed NFTs, and which uh, uh, have uh, that are tied to real-world assets. And what we're, that, my company, Acre World, is working to bridge the gap between the digital and physical world um, by offering uh, these different applications. And so, what we have is actually the Platinum Bay uh, uh, NFT collection. And this is at, what we're doing is taking real estate, in this case, a luxury beachfront resort, and uh, being able to uh, have, uh, have something like this, like this real world asset, and tie it to uh, the blockchain using NFTs. And so, thi so this build in of itself is actually a $150 million luxury resort, which is backed by uh, Wyndham Hotel Group which is the world's largest hotel franchiser. And uh, one of the things, in order to actually get all of these, uh, to get support for like real world assets, um, is you know, we're gonna have to like kind of work with a lot of these uh, like established, uh, you know, uh, 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 like companies that are out there. Um, and what we need is actually creating more like utility for, for this space, right? Because as of right now, sometimes the development gets like stagnant. You know, there's not, there's not, um, we're not increasing like the use cases of what this technology can, um, can, you know, provide for us in the future. And, you know, I think this is actually the next step that we have, you know, because right now, you know, it's uh, a lot of like the blockchain and like crypto space is bound, you know, to the digital, digital realm. And, and if we want like real adoption, uh, we're going to have to expand. Right, we're gonna have to go into the real world, and so this this, this is actually uh, what we we've created like a essentially like a system that will uh, allow that, and uh, yeah, like uh, what we're wanting to offer is actually we we want innovation in the space. You know, sometimes we we kind of, we kind of get stuck. We get uh, kind of sometimes the uh, like community might get uh, blinded by like greed. And not so much on like what the uh, on innovation and like how to actually push the technology forward, and that's that's one of the things that we're trying to trying to like show that there's there's a lot more like possibilities out there and be able to give people a, a more sense of like uh, like more security uh, in kind of their investments because you know as of right now like some. Like the valuation of like some NFTs, their long-term uh, valuation, it's it's hard to assess whether or not that the value is, is sustainable, right? And if you know for something like that, you know, is you want to you want to know is uh, if if my investment is something that I could if if it, it, it is it able to sustain its value, is it something that I could possibly pass down to my family, right? If if that if those kinds of questions you know, are like iffy and, you know, kind of shaky, you know, we're gonna need to find alternatives in order to help solidify um, kind of the value, right? And by having something backed by a real world asset, something like 
real estate, something that's been established for centuries, and then bridging that and using blockchain technologies in order to help uh, increase the efficiency and streamline uh, like ownership of something like real estate using blockchain technologies, I think that's what's really going to bring the space forward, right? And, and that's what I'm hoping to, to show you all here. And uh, this is actually our first uh, project that we have. Um, we're, we're focused on creating several other offerings of asset-backed, uh, asset uh, real-world asset-backed NFTs. And um, yeah, and like, like a feature that, that we kind of have is literally, uh, you know, we want people to be able to experience what it means to own an asset-backed NFT as a way to be able to like diversify your portfolio in this uh, new type of investment uh, investment class. And for us, we're actually offering uh, like the lowest price point is 100 USDC because what we want to be able to do is have uh, essentially anyone be able to uh, be able to uh, engage in th these types of investments. Because generally, as of right now, like real estate investing is a very expensive uh, uh, endeavor, right? Causing, costing hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars in order for someone to even consider this type of investment to, to be included in their uh, portfolio, right? But by being, being able to kind of create a sort of like fractionalized ownership and having a low barrier of entry through like uh, price point and, uh, and being able to uh, simplify the entire process for, for a regular person is what's going to make the change in order to uh, expand the, the adoption that we actually want. And so some of the features that we have is, you know, we're, we're truly trying to innovate. A lot, of these, a lot of these things don't currently exist in a lot of different projects, um, especially um, in regards to real, real estate like NFTs. And so these are some of the things that we've actually been able to introduce and been able to develop um, that, uh, you know, a lot that I think uh, people sh should consider, um, you know, whenever they're kind of developing these new projects. So we have, we allow like asset ownership. The uh, 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 Platinum Bay NFT uh, allows fractionalized ownership of the resort, uh, allowing for capital appreciation. And, and the, the NFTs are fully collateralized by land and title in the Platinum Bay Resort. Uh, it could allow for uh, passive income through uh, automatic through automatically receiving yield from resort revenue, uh, along with uh, additional opportunity for, uh, for NFTs uh, that can be res redeemed for resort stays. Uh, we have staking rewards uh, for our Platinum Bay NFT holders that um, where, where the real world assets generate revenue to fund on-chain reward pools for those NFT holders. And we have resort rewards. And this can include like uh, es essentially uh, special like luxury membership rewards and benefits and you know these are the kinds of things that I think people are going to want to like uh, experience for when they buy these kind of digital goods is how they, how it can kind of benefit them in the real world and uh, how they can experience that you know not not in not in the just a digital space and so I uh, know I didn't have too much time to uh, dive into the details of exactly the intricacies of, of the project, but I, I would hope that you take the time to follow us, check out uh, our white paper. Um, we have like a, you know, uh, like a, a lot of social media like interactions. So yeah, if you you'd like, take please uh, scan here and uh, yeah, and if, feel free to find me afterwards if you have any questions. Thank you for your time. All right. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you.